Hi everybody, here's an update to the Carmichael Mill, the uh, Bandsaw Alaska Mill, if you will. About halfway through this uh, cant here, cutting a 2x6 and then thought of uh, doing the update. to push with your legs. Now theoretically I could uh, do the next following cuts without a guide board, but it has just enough wavering in it to, that you're going to start getting boards that are wonky and uh, if they, you know, they can uh, become uh, successively worse as you go along if they keep going the same way in the same place. And uh, one of the more interesting new features, the most interesting new feature, is the self-adjusting band guides. What these are is they're, they pivot from just in front of the band. And uh, so what happens is, if the cut goes above the, mar the cut line, then uh, the band aims itself down. If the cut goes below the cut line, then it aims itself up, so they they correct themselves, and there's no adjusting of the band guides because they do it themselves. So uh, compared to most band saws, you have way less adjustments. Uh, another new feature is the uh, poly uh, the, the UHMW polyethylene. Uh, wheels and they're they're actually less than an inch thick running the three-quarter inch band and uh, What you do is is if you make the the highest point of the curve just behind the back of the front Instead of uh, in the middle then you don't really need that whole front end of the wheel and uh, 
and it happened also to be the the width of UMW wheels that I had because I practically found these I just had to cut holes in the centers and so uh, let's see compared to last January uh, the whole saw has been turned around because having the self-adjusting band guides uh, the posts holding all the uh, band guides and uh, other stuff uh, were turned around they were moved to uh, Actually, I just turned the whole saw around, so these were at the front instead of the back, and the pulley is now on the front, and the saw is, uh, the whole motor is on the left instead of on the right, which uh, is pro probably an improvement. Um, the other thing that's new is uh, the watering system. Now, there's just a, a little sponge down here that's touching the band and the water just slowly feeds through and uh, keeps the sponge wet and the wet sponge keeps the band cool. There isn't a lot of heat unless the uh, uh, band is jamming or having a really hard time in there. So that's sufficient, a little primitive, but sufficient. So there are of course uh, things that I will change if I do a production model or a kit. Um, quite likely to do a kit where the parts that uh, you can't just buy at least like the, the all the band guide stuff and the the wheels uh, that, uh, that would be in the kit and of course uh, slides whatever uh, depth depth adjustments the depth by the way is adjusted by uh, loosening two screws and then you can slide this up and down. Um, anything else worth reporting? Yeah, I can't think of it. Cut the last one here. shall we have this time? Let's see the bottom skid is just about on here.
scary. What other views can we give here? There's one. a great power head here but uh, the only thing that bothers me about it is the button's so hard to press I keep letting go of it by accident. It's a plus for cross cutting in narrow boards. And there's another view. it would be nice to have a cameraman. <laughs> view of that, do you? It's a great looking board as predicted, except for a bit of bark right in the corner. Operation Beveled Siding. We fill the cooling. The band gets too hot, the teeth lose their temper, and it's immediately dull. Cutting now about uh, 
keyboard so this isn't an immediate thing that just happened as soon as I started to cut. Okay after all those uh, boards we've had uh, some wet sawdust build up on the wheels and that was affecting the tracking and it was being pushed hard to the back that was the noise. Thank you. 